subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification hey guys welcome to another video and yet another week another closed beta which we are going to have a quick look at now today's beta doesn't have a lot of new changes and a lot of new features so i'll quickly show you how do i usually install it and stuff like that but expect in a day or two we are already on a Wednesday so by Thursday or Friday the global beta should be out but this one is a closed beta there are a couple of new features and a new security patch and stuff like that more or less everything is still the same but let's quickly have a look at it nonetheless and if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's get going all right guys so welcome to another video and as you can see we are yet again here with another video about the xiaomi beta updates now before we begin uh, i'd like to show you how do i usually install it so a couple of things that i'd like to share is in order to install a closed beta you have to take care of a few things first of all you need to have an unlocked bootloader you need to have twrp installed and you need to have a file called dfe which is a combination of uh, decryption and magisk is pre included in that so that is something you have to flash after flashing the rom and the links will be mentioned in the description if you want to go ahead with this particular beta but uh, you just have to ensure that you know twrp is installed you copy the file to the phone's internal memory and copy dfe to the phone's internal memory you just go ahead and flash it from twrp and then flash dfe and then boot and you should be good to go now you cannot do ot updates with twrp installed so every time there is a new nightly which mostly happens on monday or tuesday you would have to normally go ahead and do an update manually and i prefer a clean install so although the poco is my personal daily driver i do end up flashing it at least two or three times a week well that's what you get for running a smartphone tutorials channel anyways let's get back to the update so what you see over here unlike xiaomi eu we are yet again waiting for the black mode or the dark mode to be available they have still not included it so that is kind of sad because uh, that looks really really cool even if you look at the launcher i'm using it in dark mode and it looks amazing so what do we have special in this particular update the first change log as you can see over here is we have a new voice over lte icon and apart from that if we go to settings let's quickly have a look at the build number and details of that sort so this is a miui 10 global 9.5.13 beta so this will translate into a global beta by thursday or friday and if we look at the security patch it is still the first of april 2019 so phones like the redmi note 5 pro redmi note 6 pro have got the may security patch i don't know why we are holding back but then look that's okay with me because that's not really a feature as such but yes better security is always welcome apart from that if you search for digital well-being you will still not be able to find it it was known as screen time so if you have a look over here it is hidden somewhere but it's not available and all the previous features that we had like if we go to say lock screen and then if we go to advanced settings you have lock screen clock format which is still there so luckily they have not taken that away even if you go to the latest xiaomi gaming booster or game turbo boost that feature is still included so apart from that if you go to camera here it looks like a gcam icon but it is not so if we go to camera and say if you go to video and if you go to settings you still have 4k at 30 fps and 4k at 60 fps so these are a few benefits that you get for installing a beta rom now not necessarily you should in install a closed beta like this one which might or might not have a few bugs but this was a quick video that i wanted to make and let me tell you guys if you want to use it as a daily driver i don't really see a problem because it is working perfectly fine for me i've not experienced any bugs in fact i find it to be a little snappier compared to what 10.3.4 stable is and if you want me to make more dedicated videos on global betas like these let me know in the comment section and give this video a like so i've seen that uh, a lot of people are watching videos like 10 thousand views and 100 likes come on guys start liking these videos i put a lot of effort for you guys 
anyways so apart from this everything else still seems to be the same uh, let's quickly go to the poco launcher and let's quickly have a look at the launcher version so this is still 2.6.63 so more or less there is no major major change for this particular update there was some supposed to be a gallery feature in which you would be able to make some changes to the cloud and there was also supposed to be one more change wherein uh, this bar this google search bar would go to the bottom and stay there like android pie stock but then all of those features are not really included till now in this particular update uh, I really hope that in the next global closed beta or the next global beta that comes out this Friday, they go ahead and uh, include it. But for now, this was a quick first look and uh, install instructions for the latest global closed beta that is 9.5.13. How did you like it? Let me know in the comments section and stay tuned because in the next 48 hours, you're going to have a ton of videos on the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. And let me know in the comments section if I should go ahead and compare this phone this champion of ours to the oneplus 7 or oneplus 7 pro i know the hardware differences and that is a much superior phone but yes it's going to be fun so until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye